So I'm sitting here on the road. Got done loading the road. Jake's got an audience over here. That's got to make it fun to work. I know he doesn't like that. So they got a wash out here. Old pipe. Bunch of concrete and stuff. Tried washing out right there. Anyway, the canal's full of water. We got it shut off. Now he's just trying to rip wrap that bank there and uh, clean it up. And this is why I got out there to load the cat so late and it was in the dark that I did it. I had to emergency, had to go take care of this, had to fix the wires on the low boy, which you saw in the last video. It was a long three or four days. I can't even remember how long it was now. Okay, I feel enough pass creek with this. I came down. So by heck, I'm going up. If I can't make those switchbacks, I'll unhook the Jeep, drag it up the two switchbacks, then come back for the main trailer if I have to. But this is going to save me an hour and a half at least, maybe two hours instead of going around the other way. Now am I going to haul the D9 down this tomorrow morning? Yeah, I don't know. I highly doubt it. I'll probably go the long way just to be safe. Although there's nothing more I wouldn't like coming down through that canyon about four or five in the morning with the Jake break and barking. <laughs> ah, that'd make for a good video. Okay, here I go. Wish me luck. Hope I don't have any damn camp trailers coming out. Turn on the uh, diff lock. So I can make this hill up here. This short little bit up here that's really steep. Unless I haul it across this cattle guard, unload it, walk it down, reload it. I don't want to do that. Just don't want to do that. So anyway, here we are, just down the road here. We'll load her up. And then tomorrow morning I'll leave out the Howe Valley. Oops. Forgot something. <laughs> I pulled the four-wheeler off of there. I always unhook the uh, securement devices first. <laughs> All right, this this is why you need more lights. Good thing I brought the four-wheeler. Boy, am I on there crooked. Oh, it ain't gonna focus. So it's uh, 5 a.m. And it's getting a little light over there. I should have been gone an hour ago. <sighs> but I 
That was like 11.14 when I got done getting it loaded. That was a pain. I'll tell you about that later. And then I had to come and get it chained down. So, off we go, kids.
Okay, made it out of there. <laughs> there was no campers on this side, but I'm sure I worked, woke the whole valley up with that jig break. That's a, a big fall clear from up there to down here. But if it is a beautiful Sunday morning. Gorgeous. So it looks like I did a little land leveling before I left the low boy. Holy moly. Drug bottom, rubbed it. Ah, I just couldn't seem to make this corner wide enough. What you doing out there, Mr. Griff? Looking for squirrels? Huh? Okay, so I got the trailer and packed up, ready to go. Um, Sunday. It has been a long three days getting everything out of here. I am about to drop. Customers happy with what we've done. Like I've said before, it was tough finding enough to dirt to do this. And we had to move that some of that dirt three times, trying to stockpile it, scrounge and scrape. But we got it done and uh, got the slopes all covered. They look good. Everything looks good. No more white stuff. This will be interesting to come back in a year and see how it looks. Um, hopefully they get a good winter up here and lots of snow to get his uh, grass growing. It's tough to leave, but on the other hand, it's time to go. Been here like two months now. Um, been a great job. Uh, customer's a great guy to work for. It's just totally awesome. Uh, Dean Wall was the general contractor out of Mackey. He was super great to work with. Uh, can't say enough good about him. and. My PSSR, not a PSSR anymore, but he uh, he works down at my cat dealer, Western States Equipment, and uh, he told Dean about me. And Sean, uh, you have given me probably the biggest job ever that anybody from my cat dealer ever has. Neil Hammond. Uh, was the only other one that got me work and that's awesome to have your product support guy and your salesman get you work um, can't say enough good about them uh, I love you guys thank you for the work <laughs> 